Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have an unboxing for you. It is the eight drawer cabinet chest from Yida Home. I'm just out of the gate. This was sent to me to review. I did not pay for it, but the opinions are my own. Um, it does need to be assembled, but I want to show you how it comes in the box. And then we'll take all the pieces out and we'll do some reviewing and some building. So I hope you stick around. Alrighty, out of the box, we've got our three um, supports. So one's gonna go on either side and one will go in the center. So I think that's gonna give us some good support, uh, especially on the center since there is a center bar. It has the two bars over here at the end that um, I believe will go across the top to support this top piece. Here's the color of the top wood. It does come shipped with these nice little corner protectors, which I think is great. And then on this side, there are places to screw in for that. It does come with a nice little like, you know, warning, pay attention to the direction of each piece of the frame. Oh, those two sidebars are gonna go on the bottom. The wood goes on the top. In the kit, we also get the directions, which come in a baggie. And they're very like Ikea-ish, if you've ever bought from Ikea. No words, just pictures, but it's very clear. You know, what, what goes where. I assume this is gonna go together very quickly. Um, a nice card that comes with it and a cat. It does come with all the screws that you're going to need. It also comes with an Allen wrench. And I like that it has these floor supports. And then your eight fabric drawers, which are really deep. And I'll show you when we get to that part. But what I'm going to do here is start screwing this together. Okay. Just putting these bottom cleat or these bottom supports on. And it's just so simple. Seriously, it just screws together. You've got your Allen wrench with a actually Phillips head on one end, which is interesting. And I like that, that literally all of your tools are in one. Oops. And if you had a bigger Allen wrench set, go for it. I'm just gonna use the tools supplied. But your it screws, everything screws together. And as long as you're paying attention to what goes where, shouldn't have a problem. The only, First thing out of the gate issue that I have, you know, just holding up this one end, you don't wanna tighten this completely until you have it standing. So you wanna make sure you got some wiggle room, right? So we're gonna stand that end up. Up there, and then I'm just gonna screw in these, this side. And you just wanna make sure that you're watching, you know, this is the back on this side, it's the back on that side. I got all the supplies I need. Now there were not extras. Sometimes you get extras, you know, extra pieces. Oops. And then you're just gonna kind of hold it up, put your screw through. And once I get this bottom on, it'll go together really quickly. It's just a little, you know, finicky. There we go. I would say for better positioning, lay it down on its side. Done. 
How simple is that, guys? And then we just want to put our center piece in, making sure, again, your backs are back, or everything is lined up. All right, so all I did next was I screwed in these six screws that hold this top piece on. I would recommend doing it upside down. And then I went through and I just tightened up these side panels and I screwed the feet in. And what I really like, these feet are adjustable. So I have them all the way down, but if my floor is not even, I can screw them up or down and change the height. And then these screws here were the last ones that I tightened in and I'm gonna flip it over. And here is the finished product. Oh, it's so sharp looking. It's taller than I thought, not as wide or deep. So we'll show you. Here's my arm. So it doesn't even quite reach my elbow, which is nice. I did put some stuff in this drawer. It holds a lot. And what I like is with the stoppers, it doesn't slide back through like your cubicles would. Now I will say, um, I would definitely attach it to the wall if you're using this for little ones, you know, for like their clothing. And I probably wouldn't put anything too heavy in it. But as far as it goes, I'm really liking it and can't wait to put it to use.